So in this video, we're going to discuss the fundamental solution set for a second order homogeneous linear differential equation and talk about how to establish the general solution for such an equation. So linear in, linearly independent solutions of second order linear differential equations. So let's say we have y sub one and y sub two as linearly independent solutions to the homogeneous second order linear differential equation um, and what's he look like a two y double plus a one y prime plus a naught y equals zero. So if we have two linearly independent uh, solutions for this differential equation and we can test to see if they're linear linearly independent just by computing the Ronskin and if the Ronskin for those two uh, solu solutions is not zero we know that we have a linearly independent set if they're if, if they're if they're linearly independent we say that it's a fundamental solution set over whatever interval I the two solutions work for and the claim is, the big claim is that if we have two linearly independent solutions for a second order linear homogeneous differential equation, the claim is that every solution for the differential equation can be written as a linear combination of those two functions. And here's what's going on. So if we think back to linear algebra, Remember, we said if we have a set of linearly independent vectors, that those linearly independent vectors form a basis for a vector space. So if we show that two functions and functions, uh, uh, two linearly independent functions will form a subspace of the vector space of all real valued functions, so if we have two linearly independent functions, they do form a basis for a subspace of all possible real valued functions. And the claim that we're really making here by saying that every solution for the differential equation can be written as a linear combination of those two basis vectors, what we're saying is that every solution to the differential equation lives in the vector space spanned by y sub 1 and y sub 2. y sub 1 and y sub 2 form a spanning set for a vector space. And in fact, they form a basis because they're linearly independent. They form a basis for that vector space. And every solution for the, for the differential equation lies in that vector space. And because it lies in the vector space, and y sub 1 and y sub 2, by the, by the nature of being a basis, form a spanning set, we'll be able to write all of the solutions in that vector space as a linear combination of those two. So this is a big idea. <clears throat> so fundamental set, if we have a second order linear homogeneous differential equation, if you can find two linearly independent solutions for that, that differential equation, they form a basis for the vector space that contains all of the solutions for the differential equation and every solution that's possible for every initial valued problem that exists is going to be able to be written as a linear combination of those two basis vectors. So here's an example. So we want to show that y sub 1 and y sub 2 are linearly independent solutions for this second order linear homogeneous differential equation and then we want to use them to find the general solution and the general solution is just going to be the linear combination of the two linearly independent functions the general solution because every solution can be written as a linear combination of those basis vectors so to run through this first we need to show that each one is a solution so our differential equation is y double prime minus 9y equals 0. So first we need to show that e to the 3x is a solution. So we need to calculate the first and second derivatives of e to the 3x. So we'll get 3e to the 3x and y sub 2 prime, sorry, y sub 1 double prime is just going to equal 9e to the 3x and then we plug those in. So we plug in 9e to the 3x 
4y double prime and we go minus 9 times y but y is just equal to e to the 3x and 9e to the 3x minus 9e to the 3x is 0 so indeed e to the 3x is a solution for the differential equation then we want to verify that y sub 2 is a solution so y sub 2 is equal to e to the negative 3x so y sub 2 prime is going to be negative 3 e to the negative 3x and y sub 2 double prime is going to be equal to positive 9 e to the negative 3x and then when we plug uh, plug y sub 2 and y sub 2 double into the differential equation we get 9 e to the negative 3x minus 9 times y but y is e to the negative 3x we get 9 e to the negative 3x minus 9 e to the negative 3x is 0 so when we plug in y sub 2 we get 0 so y sub 2 is also a solution so we have two solutions to the second order linear homogeneous differential equation now we just need to show they're linearly independent but to do that we can just calculate the Ronskian so the Ronskian of e to the 3x e to the negative 3x is just the determinant of the matrix that has e to the 3x and e to the negative 3x as, its fir as the first row and then the derivative of each of those 3e to the 3x and negative 3e to the 3x as our second row and then we calculate the determinant so we take the product of the elements on the main diagonal we get negative 3 e to the 3x times e to the 3x that's a negative 3x actually e to the th it's derivative of e to the negative 3x is negative 3 e to the negative 3x and then we do e to the 3x times negative 3 e to the 3x we get e to the 3x plus negative 3x and then it's minus the other diagonal and the other diagonal is going to be e to the negative 3x times 3 e to the 3x but uh, we have the same base so we add the exponents so we'll be adding 3x plus negative 3x and in each case we get e to the 0 so we get minus 3 times 1 minus 3 times 1 is minus 6 which is not equal to 0 therefore we know that e to the 3x and e to the negative 3x form a linearly independent set of uh, vectors or solutions for our differential equation so the general solution then is just going to be the linear combination of those two what we're saying is that every possible solution for this differential equation can be written as a linear combination of the two basis vectors or of the two linearly independent solutions for the differential equation